Hey, hey, checking in. Uh, we just pulled off uh, 55, uh, I 55 North. We left mm, West it? Memphis, Arkansas earlier today. But I wanted to share with you guys. Now, I'm, I'm from New York, uh, grew up on White Castle. I know, Murder Burgers, not everybody's a fan. But anyway, exit 175, it's a 24 hour White Castle here. But what's, what's uh, impressive to me is you come off the interstate, that intersection right there, and bam, check out the parking spaces they got. You know what I'm talking about. They got parking spaces for rigs right here. So maybe you don't care about the White Castle, but they got other places here to eat. Um, they got the Mickey D's, Captain D's, Home Depot if you needed to get some things, which we actually do have to stop at Home Depot. I know that is a big hit with a lot of people, that Starbucks. Um, a Philip 56 uh, station, they got a Steak and Shake over there, a Fazoli's for old time people, uh, Bob Evans over there. So, again, just the, the main thing was White Castle. Uh, I usually get my fix when I go to New York, but I guess they got it here in uh, we're in Missouri Exit 175 off of 55 We'll check back in checking in we're still here in st louis missouri we got the gateway arch bam right there literally not even five ten minutes away um just wanted to check in with a little rv tip um so when you go to your rv site you you know pulling up you got to connect your water i saw this on youtube it was actually people that do a lot of gardening and they had like dedicated hoses so this attachment is connect the quick it's called a quick connect you know some of you guys might know about it but for those that don't uh, there's two pieces one to one side of the hose one to the other so if you're constantly going through you know RV RV sites whatever you you attach and unattach hose, hoses a lot so I just figured you know what I'm gonna try this so this is just an idea that I tried um, so you know what I'm gonna go ahead and attach it so um if you look let me go over here so this is the part that goes into your rv okay and then you have the other part that's attached to the hose let's see hopefully yeah so this is the part that's attached to the hose and the part that attaches it on so all you do is you depress the one boom and then there's a little lock you just slide that over it's just hard to do with one hand here but you just slide this arrow so that it's, it's locked and boom now i'm already hooked up now some people might think oh he's lazy well it's not that i'm lazy it's just a quick it's an easier way and it's an easier step that i can follow so if you get a chance get you these quick and i got this one at home depot it's two pieces okay actually they came in a two pack and it had different colors, obviously. So this one I could put on another hose. And this one goes to the main one that goes into the RV. And I'm already hooked up. Um, you know, because one of the things that I worry about is cross-threading my my, um, my hose attachments and stuff. So this kind of like makes that a less of a uh, chance to happen. Um, and then, so on, at another RV site, what I did, I had put this quick connect on my hose attachment that goes to wherever you know, I um, uh, hook up to the water, but this site, the water's a little farther, so I got this other longer hose. So I will be dedicating this set to another hose. So I'll have another hose that I can use, but it, um, I think it was seven bucks for the pack. So a pack of two. So 
again just a little quick tip quick connector to the hose it just makes it just one more step a little easier you don't have to do it that's just a way so again just checking in and sharing the tip y'all take care see you on the next one all right we're here in downtown st louis missouri name of the place called sugar five we're about to get up in here go to little that's what the, the, the place look like Ribs, hush puppies, potato salad, fries, what's that called? Brisket. Brisket. So, we're about to get it in there. We're hungry, I'm hungry. Huh? All right, we'll check in. All right, I got, a, I got a full rack of ribs. I got a brisket sandwich. Uh, I got beans, fries, little apple pie for later. We got a roll of napkins, which is very important when you're going to get down like I'm about to get down. We'll see what's going to happen here. I'll take, I'll take one of those. Got my soda over here. All right, let's see. Let's see what they're talking about. Let's see. Hmm, pull off pretty good. Mmm. Oh yeah. How's your sandwich? That's really good. I'm gonna try these beans. I'll do these right here. Let's see. Oh no, try one of these hats. Oh, this is hush puppy. Hush puppy. Oh. Good hush puppy. Pretty good. I want to talk about these beans. Oh yeah. Hmm. They got look like they got three different type of beans in here. They got celery, onion, look like green beans, white beans. Oh my God. Delicious. Pinto beans. Looks delicious. Yeah, black apple. Oh, it's it's off the chain. Hmm. Well. Take that potato sauce. You got a little potato sauce you want to try? Let's see. Put it in the frame so they can see it. That's like, I like this type of potato sauce because it's dry. I don't like wet potato. What are you talking about? You like it? It's good. It's on the sweet side. You might oh, not like it. I don't it. like sweet side. You don't like sweet uh, potato salad, but I do. It's on the southern side. But it's good. Right, well. well. You don't want to watch it eat all the time. Go ahead, press my baby. <laughs> Until later. Hey, hey. Uh -huh. Find the review, Sugar Fire. You see it right? Bam, there. <laughs> We're still out in front. We just got outside. What do you think? Amazing. What'd you have? I had the brisket. It was uh, really good, very juicy, very tasty. Matter of fact, I just told you, this is the best brisket sandwich I ever had. I don't eat pork, but I do eat beef, and it was great. Cool. I had the full rack of ribs. Uh, full disclosure, I only ate half. Uh, I'm going to eat the rest later, but the, the beans, um, the fries, everything was really good, really fresh. If you're in St. Louis, Missouri, downtown area, I would suggest you come down here to Sugar Fire. You won't be disappointed. Uh, did you say Sugarfoot the first time? No, Sugar Fire. Oh, Sugar Fire. Sugar okay. Fire. I said Sugar <laughs> Foot when we was on the way here. Okay. But it is Sugar Fire. Sugar, sugar fire. fire. Yes. It right is. here, let's see. Down the corner of 6th Street. 6th Street? Yeah, 6th Street. And I don't know what, the, what this one is. But yeah, you just look it up. It'll pop up. Darius was able to see the reviews. Awesome reviews. Yeah. Um, and I see why. Also, in there... Up where they, you know, the uh, cooks and all that, we was able to put our little sticker. So if oh, you're in this yeah. town, Look for you're here, take a picture of our sticker for us. Let us know you <laughs> say hey. All right. all right, we'll check in. Hey, hey, just checking in. Getting a little walk on. Had a little lunch. It was delicious. We are in the downtown St. Louis area. And it reminds, it's the first time that we've ever been here. Reminds me of a big little city. But anyway, we're walking around. 
and it's Wednesday. It is 1.30, and this is the downtown area right now. Downtown area, Wednesday. And... It's like a ghost town. It's like a ghost town. Like, where is everybody at? Like, where is everybody at? Not that we're complaining. We're able to see the sights with no problems, but uh, it seems like a big city. There ain't nobody around. Uh, I mean, unless everybody, everybody at the same time is in these office buildings and they don't come out <laughs> until all together. But look, look at down the street. We're on 6th Street right now. All the way down 6th Street, there's nobody. All the way back down this street, uh, 6th Street towards um, the Gateway Park and Mississippi River. Walk down that way. Nobody. There's nobody around. So if you're from St. Louis... We love your town, but give us the 411 in the comments. Like, where is everybody at? What's today's date? Today's the 24th or 23rd, 23rd. August 23rd, 130 is it? Let me look at my watch, it's weird, because I'm still set on there. I'm still set on East Coast time. So yeah, it's one, oh no, it's actually, it's actually 225 right now. It's 225 Wednesday. August 23rd, St. Louis, downtown, in the heart of the city. <laughs> Where's everybody at? Let us know what was going on on this day, or is that, you know, just a sign of the times with the pandemic and everything? We're just wondering. Just wondering. Just is everybody wondering. working home? Yeah, everybody, is everybody working from home? That's a good point. So, but beautiful. The weather's like awesome. It's probably like 82 degrees right now. Uh, breezy, not bad. Um, yep, yeah, we're walking around. Uh, we parked in the parking garage, so we're making our way back to our car. But, yep, let us know. We'll check in. Mm -hmm. That's the story. Well, apparently, this is the first flat iron bridge built in America. We haven't fact checked it yeah, yet. We won't fact check it. It, it, <laughs> it's either the one it's either this one or the one across the way. Apparently on one of these bridges, once it was done to completion, it was pretty fairly new and pretty advanced at its time. Nobody wanted to go across it. They were afraid to go across it. So, I guess a circus was in town, and they sent the elephants across, and apparently that made it a good deal for everybody, and they decided to use the bridge. So I don't know if it's this one that I'm, I think it's this one that we're on, because the one across the way I just showed you seems like a railway bridge. So, we will fact check it.
Hey, hey, checking in. We are at the top of the Cahokia Mound site. It's a state historic site in Collinsville, Illinois. We just made it up from that area over there, a bunch of stairs. We'll get a, a number of how many steps that was. But from up here, you can see the skyline to St. Louis and then all the surrounding area all the way around. We're pretty high. That's something else we can check to see how high we are on this highest part. Um, another little bonus when we came here, didn't know anything about this place. Darius was able to look it up and here we are at a, uh, a state historic site here in Collinsville, Illinois. So just checking in, continuing to let you know what we got going on here. Yeah.